We should also make it clear that we favor what those Iranians who have risked their lives and in some cases lost their lives favor. People do not sacrifice and take risks like that in order to adjust the fine tuning on a tyrannical regime. The workers in solidarity in Poland, the Chinese students who went to Tiananmen Square in a vain effort to bring about fundamental change were not looking for half measures. This is about fundamental change that in Iran can be accomplished only by regime change. The best way to achieve that is by the hand of the Iranian people themselves. Toward the beginning of these remarks, I pointed out that Abraham Lincoln had referred to the United States in the 19th century as the last best hope of Earth. I think that those words were even truer today than when he first spoke them. I think also that it is time that Americans started talking and behaving as if we believed them, so that when succeeding generations consider the question that I presented at the beginning of these remarks of what we did to advance what is good and to resist what is evil, they will find an answer that we and they can live with. Thank you very much for the great privilege of speaking to you.